We now move to the last unit of this module on learning and transfer and this last unit let's say brings together all the ideas which have been explained and discussed during the previous units. Uh, they are brought together in an advice how to foster learning and transfer. The first step is a proper task analysis. The basis of every attempt to promote learning and transfer is a proper task analysis. What does this entail? Well, first identify the learning goals of the task, analyze the component skills and knowledge which together constitute the task, and then determine which knowledge and skills are prerequisites and help students then to activate prior knowledge, which is relevant to the task, the learning task. The second step is, uh, has to do with practice. After decomposition of the learning task, sequence the component tasks in such a way that basic, simple subskills are acquired first, followed by more complex components. Jeroen van Merienboer developed an elaborate theory on, which, on why and how to design an instructional process in an appropriate way, the 4C ID theory. Then the third step, so to speak, varying cases. Having identified the scope of the knowledge and skills to be acquired, foster transfer by providing cases and problems in such variety that these cases and problems represent the complete domain to which the knowledge and skills are supposed to generalize. So I think you have to map first where you want the students to use the knowledge in which application environments. And then you provide cases which are taken from all these various environments in order to help students to generalize their knowledge and skills to the environments where these knowledge and skills have to be applied. And then eventually provide feedback during the learning process. Hattie showed that extensively providing appropriate feedback strongly supports the acquisition of knowledge and skills. Feedback has, has to be direct, immediate, informative and motivating. That we know from various areas like the behaviorist tradition, like the cognitivist tradition, uh, that feedback should be immediate, should be given right after the moment, so to speak, where some behavior has to be corrected. It should be direct, should be clear, should be informative, it should help the learner to understand what went wrong in order to uh, uh, improve his or her skills. And it should be motivating, it should encourage the student to continue learning and to improve the performance he is working on, he or she is working on. Okay, in the case of high road transfer, when the learning task does allow for high road transfer, encourage the learner to compare cases in order to identify similarities and differences. This helps the learner to arrive at transfer through conscious and goal-directed reflection. So moving upwards in the learning triangle we have seen to arrive at models or strategies these abstract representations of the task which help the learner to apply it, what has been learned in the learning uh, environment uh, to apply that in the application environment so through the processes as we have seen of induction coming to this strategy and deduction applying the strategy or the model. Okay, with this last unit we have completed the module on learning and transfer and we can proceed to do the assignment.